Welcome to the Spelling Netcast for uh, this week's Spelling Words. So let's make sure that you've got your glue stick, your beautiful dinosaur pencil, or a pencil that is may not be as cool as mine, but it'll still work, whatever pencil you've got. Make sure it's sharp, though. And your nice rounded tip and your zip top bag so you can put your words in it you know for the rest of the week your spelling book and of course your spelling words all right so let's get started with cutting our words out it looks like we've got four exemplars today and it looks like we're going to be doing some greek roots greek so you're all going to be doing a little greek rootage I guess you could say. So I like to cut these down the side. But I think this is going to be an interesting uh, um, sort this week because these root words um, are usually not used on their own. Usually. There are, there are a couple here that are used on their own. But we've got to find out what they mean and that will help us to understand um, what's going on with them. So remember, you cut these out just like that so we can put them across the page so you can write it above it. I like to go straight up each one of these. But as in Greek roots, um, we're going to put a couple of these together because they're going to mean something very interesting. And so we got to find out what they mean. But the great thing about doing spelling the way we're doing it is you get to understand what the words mean and how they go together, and that will help you understand what the words are, and that'll help you be a better reader, because then when you see these um, roots anywhere, then you'll kind of figure out what words mean. Make sure that you cut out your words. Cut them out. Don't just leave them and just write down what I say. Make sure that you are right, cutting them out, setting them out just like I am, so that you can pick up the word as I pick it up and say it when I say it. I want you to make sure you're doing this because that's it's not going to help you if you don't do what, you, what we're doing. You got to do exactly what we're doing. That will help you as a be, be a better reader and writer. All right. So first thing we're going to do is I like to take off that little piece there, and then we're going to glue this to the top. If you're not going to glue this, you need to write out sort twenty eight Greek roots and write it exactly like that. You need to know this so that when you do next week's words um, or the next set, then you'll know which words to do next. Because last week should have been 27. If you, if this is a brand new week, then next week will be 29. So make sure that you get this written out. I like to go down two, and then so I'm going to do telly. And these are these are things that you kind of know. You kind of know what telly is, and we're going to talk about that one. Phone. Ooh, that was interesting, wasn't it? Telly phone. We'll have to talk about that. Photo, you got photo, and we know what that is, but we're going to find out what that means today. And graph, interesting, photograph, telephone, huh, we're going, to have to, we're going to have to look and see what those mean. And I think you might know what they could mean, and so we'll have to check those out and see how they all fit together. I think this is going to be interesting for us. Make sure you cut these out because I want you to sort them tomorrow night. So make sure you keep them in your zip top bag. If you're not cutting your words out, you're not getting better. It ain't going to happen. You're not going to be a better speller. You're not going to be a better reader and writer. You need to cut them out and do what I'm doing and that will help us. Do as I'm doing. All right? So telly, phone, photo, graph. So I think what we're going to do first is, let's start with telly, and what do you think telly means? What do you think telly means? Because this is going to be interesting. So let's put out this first one here, and television. 
Everybody knows what a television is, right? Right? Telly? And so what is vision? It's seeing, isn't it? Seeing, right? Vision, it's vision. Telly means distance. And so when we look at distance or distant, sorry, we're, let's change that. Let's make that distant. When we look at distant, television is vision from a distance. Now, what do you think that means? Television from a distance. How does that work? Because when we're sitting in our living rooms watching our television, we're not very far from it, right? But where does that program come from? It comes from the satellite or the cable or an antenna from a distance and comes into our living room. So it is vision from a distance. That's why we call it a television. All right? And so that's kind of interesting right there. But let's look at the next one because this is something we use all the time. And we're going to go telephone. Tele. Phone. And there's an E on the end of this. Telephone. And so tele is from distance. Phone, what do you think phone means in Greek? Because this is Greek, not, not English, Greek. Phone actually means sound. And so telephone is sound from a distance. And so you're saying, oh, well, sound from a distance, the phone is right next to my ear. No, actually, who, where is that other person that is on the phone? Oh, we got to do something here. Look, telephone, telephone. That means I have to write this twice. Telephone. And so P-H-O-N is what I underline. If there is two of them in here, you have to write them twice. Two times. So make sure you do that. Telephone. Telephone. Sound from a distance. All right? Okay, next one we're doing is phone. So let's think of what we could do with phone. Um, let's look at, oh, microphone. Micro means small, right? So it's a small sound. So what does that mean, small sound? Does that mean when we use a microphone, it's tiny? Our sound is really tiny? No. Actually, what microphone means is it's a device that picks up sounds that would not be heard very well or small sounds. So we might be talking into it really quick, but when you find out, when we do movies here at school, you will find out that the small sounds behind everybody actually are louder than the people in front. So it brings out those small sounds. So when we do our movies, speak loud or they're never going to hear you. Got it? All right. So let's move on to the next one. We got sound and we got distance. So what is photo and graph? So let's look at photo and graph. So let's do that. Let's do photograph. Oh, microphone. No, okay. Photograph. Photo is what? Photo is actually light. It's not a picture. It's light. So photo is light. Graph means Anybody? Right, as in what we're doing here. So photo is writing with light? What? No, it's to record or write something with light. And so that's interesting because um, if you're writing with light, how a photograph works or cameras work is that what they do is they actually use a lens that lets light into it. So if you look at a camera, you'll see that it has a lens. See, this is my little camera. And this is a lens. It lets light in. 
and it's written on the computer or on my my uh, flip camera here or on film. It's written on film, but it's the light that actually makes that film happen. It's written onto film or a disc if it's a digital camera, but it's the light that is written. Isn't that interesting? But we do photo here, and what do we have to do here? We have to write it again, exactly. Photograph, and graph is actually underlined there. So we got written with light. So that's how a photograph works. So let's look at our next word here, though. Um, let's look at telephoto. Telephoto. Ooh, so we have to write telephoto here. Telephoto. Tele means distant, and then photo means light. Telephoto. So that means it's light from a distant. Light from a distant. So isn't that interesting? But um, a telephoto lens is actually light or something from far away that we're taking pictures of. So it's way over there. It's light from the distance that is actually literally lighting or uh, writing with light. So a telephoto brings far things from a distance so we can write them with light telephoto lens and with a telephoto lens we take a photograph isn't that interesting you guys find that interesting i really do so let's look at another one this was an interesting one that i thought paragraph para graph because paragraphs are what we make you write and so the interesting thing about a paragraph is that it is writing, right? Writing. But what does para mean? Para actually means beside. And so when you, when you beside writing, that means you're writing next to each other. And so we're taking a break of ideas and we're breaking them up into ideas next to each other that we are writing. So every paragraph should have a new idea, something new in it that breaks it up. Or it's beside the writing, beside each other. That's why they're next to each other. Isn't that interesting? Paragraphs. Huh. So we've got quite a few of them in here. So I hope you enjoy what we're doing with these Greek roots. Because it teaches us what these words mean and where they come from. We really like to take um, words from Greek, root, words from Latin, and make them our own. And so this will help us understand what each of these things are talking about. So now what I need you to do is I need you to go through these, and I need you to think about how the sound in the phone how that works with the word that you're looking at. Oh, let's do one more. Sorry. Homophone. 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 Phone is sound. Homa means same. Same sound. So a homophone is the same sound. Meet, M-E-A-T, M-E-E-T. Same sound. Different meaning. Same sound. Homophone. Cool. Finish these up. If they're in both of them, you need to write them twice, just like we did here with telephone, telephone, photograph, photograph. Pay attention to what these are saying. Say them. Write them. Learn what they are. Okay. Get them done. See you.